It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know. So um, today I'm going to be doing a Q and A. Um, recently I posted on Instagram a Q and A box, and you guys put in any questions. It could have been from anything, uh, personal, business. Um, my big surprise I'm coming out, my course, anything. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. Let's jump right in. Um, so the first question I will answer, um, when you guys asked, uh, did you go to college? So I did go to college. I went to Mott Community College. My degree is actually in photography, um, which I am a photographer, if none of you, none of you guys know. Um, so uh, yeah, so I went to college. Um, I went for three years and got my degree, and then um, I've been working on my business ever since. What camera do you use? Um, the camera I use that I love, I've been using for quite a few years now, is um, the Nikon D850. It is my all-time favorite camera. It is so um, amazing for the photography I, I do. Um, one of the other questions was, um, what kind of photography do you do? And I do mainly canines. So I do a lot of dog sporting events. I do um, portrait sessions with them. I even have mini sessions open, everything like that. So pretty much, um, I pretty much do a full customization. How do you set your goals? So every month I always have 10 goals that I always try to hit, um, whether it's a project that's going on, whatever it could be. Um, so I always, um, set my goals. I always just choose 10 goals and I go through and list them every day I break them down into tasks that I do every day and that way I can always reach it So pretty much it's always stuff that I always want to happen Not everything gets totally finished, but at least I know in the end I have my main goals that I've always wanted to reach What is your biggest roadblock? Pretty much my roadblock that I always hit is always I don't have an off switch <laughs> I always run into the problem with um, I never know how to shut it off or now I always have a project going so like at night I still will be working super late at night I have stopped myself from doing that recently but um, still my brain's always going and I'm always thinking about the next thing going on um, doesn't mean I'm not grateful in the moment I always am but um, I'm always looking for the newest thing I can jump into um, so yeah that's definitely a roadblock of mine I always have that issue um, I don't really have an off switch how do you travel all the time okay I, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a, I, along with being a canine photographer, I'm a destination canine photographer, which means I travel to dog sporting events, um, which is not always easy. Um, it does wear me out, um, I, but there's also seasons for it. So pretty much during the summertime and springtime is pretty much the time when I travel. I don't travel for everything, but um, I do travel for other projects, my mutt movies, those kind of things. Um, I'll drop all everything below so you guys can see it. Um, pretty much for me I always schedule my stuff and I through this year I just started doing a lot of more destination work um, I figured out that I need to only really have about three competitions a month at most that's really my max what's your biggest milestone in your business um, my biggest business milestone I would definitely say um, definitely becoming full-time I have always wanted to be full-time in my business I just never really took the leap in it um, this is something that I have always, like I said, always wanted to do. But How does your family feel about you quitting your full-time job? So honestly, they were so supportive. <laughs> um, I think they knew that I've always wanted to do that. So I think um, me doing it, they knew I had drive and I wasn't going to just be at home and do nothing. Um, every day I've worked since I've quit. Um, so honestly, it's something I've always done. When did you start your business? So I started, actually I started my business when I was a junior in high school. Um, I finally recently niched down to being a canine photographer, but I got into doing dog sporting events, those kind of things, um, dog portraits earlier on. I just always gravitated towards dogs. Um, so yeah, honestly, it always has been something I've always loved. It just kind of fell into it. I fell in love with photography at a young age. Um, with a little film camera, that whole thing. Um, my grandfather really introduced me to it because um, I think he loved it so much. I got into photographing nature, then that led to dogs, and f continuing after that, I just fell into everything. So it just has been always something I've always loved. What's your go-to lens? Um, honestly, my go-to lens is kind of hard to answer, but my go-to lens for a dog sporting event is my um, 70 to 200. It's a Sigma lens. Um, my all-time favorite lens, always go to it. Um, it's one that I bought, um, I rented, and then I bought it. 
um, my normal portrait lens. I definitely say my 50 is another favorite of mine. Um, it is it is a fixed lens, but I still love it. It's still one that I always go to for portraits, or even honestly, even some sporting events, I tend to use that too. Um, it's not always my favorite, which is why I always bring along my sport lens, but still, with my Nikon, it works really well. How do you stay organized with two businesses? So if you guys don't know, I am not only a photographer, but I'm also a fitness coach through Beachbody. Um, so that's what she means by two businesses. But um, pretty much I, I'm talking about organization because there's a few things that ask about like, what, like how do you create, how do you organize your content or how do you stay organized with your business? Those kind of things. Um, all those questions relate to this answer. Um, so I'll just do a combined answer. Um, so pretty much my two businesses and staying organized, I actually, um, use a certain program that I'll be introducing through a course that I'm actually coming out with in the end of October. So it'll um, go through all my organization hacks and all everything that I do. But pretty much how I stay organized is I pretty much stay with two businesses. I separate them between what I want to be known for for each. But I do, they do somewhat sync even though photography and fitness do not really mesh really well together. I s still somewhat have to merge them because it does involve me. So. best productivity hack um being productive i definitely say for me is to set my phone down um even across the room if i and i know i'm gonna be blown up with text or whatever um doing that when i'm working um along with actually um actually i have to sit right next to me because i was just doing it um is planning out my day so using a planner um i'm old school i have a paper planner um but I even use google calendar as my other option to organize my day and tasks or events or whatever's going on but i definitely would say getting something like this i'll link this one below um it is my all-time favorite launch day for your course so my launch is actually going to be the end of october i'm thinking um it's going to be coming out um on halloween i might come out with a sooner date um but at this point it will be halloween i've been putting all the videos together putting the course together um everything like that it's pretty much like i said it's about um organization no matter what business it is um i'm going to show you the ins and outs of this program that i use and everything that you can do with it um from there if you want my help you can always do a mentorship call and i'll show you how to customize it for your business how do you figure out your hours so um, my hours um still in the works of figuring that out um honestly for me it's um really sticking to a point of what time i really wanted to end my day on of getting worked on it doesn't mean i don't work on weekends or i don't work on other times i do still work on them especially being a photographer i do have my availability open but i really try to get everything i can done for a business owner just starting out what's your number one tip my number one tip honestly my number one is probably really figuring out where you want your business to go like i know it's extreme planning five years, 10 years in advance, but I really think you really need to think about what you want. Well, the, whatever business it could be, it doesn't have to be photography, it could be you own a boutique, you wanna see where it goes. Like yes, you know, over time you do change, just like, you know, style changes on a person or um, anything like that. It always, your business can alter over the years, but I really think you really need to at least have somewhat of a plan. Um, what kind of dog is Vixie? So if you guys don't know, Vixie is my dog. She is a Pomeranian. She is seven years old. I rescued her five years ago. Um, so yeah, so she's a Pomeranian. She's rescued us off the streets of Detroit. She's such a sweet dog. I'll pop up a picture here um, so everyone can see her. Um, she is all my little baby she i'm so grateful for her um favorite holiday favorite holiday is definitely christmas i am an all-time lover of christmas the year not so much the cold weather but i still love it you know and despite that um, what is your favorite book i'll divide this in the two um because i i read several books um but uh my all-time favorite book for just fun reading is the notebook for sure i'm an all-time hopeless romantic love all of it um, my favorite personal growth book is The Magic from The Secret Series. I love it. I'm always looking for new books, so if any of you guys have recommendations, I'm always happy to hear it. So comment below if you have a good book, either fiction or personal growth. I'm always looking for new books. 
best tips for photos and lighting. So definitely for photos and lighting, um, for lighting, I would definitely say always find natural light. So find a window or something relating to it um, if you don't have that. Um, for photos, I definitely say always going into the Lightroom app and doing a preset or whatever it can be. You can purchase some presets on Etsy, those kind of things. Um, I definitely say doing that always helps with photos. Um, so I definitely would say going with those things, going with basic editing and always finding natural light will always help you. When do your Christmas menus open? Um, right now they're actually open right now. Um, I can put the booking links right below. Um, I have Christmas minis every year. Um, they're perfect for family photos, dog photos, whatever it could be. It's um, honestly an amazing time. I have one that's under a um, pavilion that I'm going to set up as a classic Christmas. And then another one that is in a white truck that's going to be more in a winter wonderland kind of woodsy feel. So um, I do have only a few spots left. So um, they're booking up very quickly. So if you want a spot, then book me and I'll email you and everything. And it, um, the location's actually in White Lake, Michigan. So if you're in the area or even traveling here for some weekends in November, then, um, or you can easily email me and ask me when it is, anything like that. So I had so much fun making this video today. If you want to follow me on Instagram, hit my Instagram. I'll put my information below. I'd love for you to follow me there, ask me any questions there. I'd love to do another Q&A. Um, so uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, um, hit subscribe. I don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. And I We'll see you next time. Bye. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that.